Alright, hey y'all, what is up? And welcome back to my channel for part 2 of our Seasons Let's Play. Thank you guys so much for the support on the first part. I'm glad you guys are excited about it. So for this part, I'm going to be introducing you to a few other Sims that will make their appearance in this Let's Play and just kind of go throughout the day. Love Day is coming up. I think Friday. I believe it's currently Thursday. So tomorrow will be Love Day. I think we might actually, you know, see that in this part. I think I have some plans up my sleeve for Sophia and Dalton and Carter to celebrate together just so you can meet Sophia and Dalton. But right now, it is morning time. Everybody is sitting around the table enjoying some leftover pancakes. <laughs> uh, it's actually quite early, these Sims. I mean, they are on a whole nother level they are on a roll they're always waking up early and impressing me and just you know outdoing me 100 uh, percent but i think they all do have work today um like i said tomorrow is love day so uh, we're gonna do something with sophia and carter but i think today um after work, Clara is probably going to meet up with her ex-boyfriend, Bradley. I mentioned in the last part that he has been texting her, which is a little bit odd considering he was the one that ended things. But he has just been trying to reach out to her and has mentioned, you know, getting together for dinner maybe and just like talking, you know, not to get back together. But just to clear the air and be mature adults because, you know, they did have a huge part in each other's lives and uh, she's kind of antsy about it but she figured you know let's he's right let's be a little bit mature and do that I believe Wyatt's going to take him a shower before work oh my god I thought did y'all just see that it, she was trying to squeeze by him but it looked like they were getting a little close we are not into incest here on this channel Clara back away yeah they don't have much room to maneuver around this little dining area but you know whatever we can make it work and it looks like Bella is obsessed with the fridge so yeah everybody's in everybody's way interesting I mean this house is pretty big I don't know they just always get cluttered up here in the kitchen but anyways I think that she is good for work she has to harvest her harvestables let's see if we have anything out here that we can harvest and it looks like we do so let's come out here and harvest all of these strawberries so we can get that done she's absolutely the cutest look at her <laughs> all right and then what does he have to do for work i think yes he's already filled out his reports and everything so he should be getting a promotion today uh, and then celebrate with love day tomorrow exciting exciting stuff what about you? Oh, look, he's taking a bubble bath, playing in the bath. Cute. He's getting that fun up and that hygiene, killing two birds with one stone. I hear you. Also, uh, Clara ended up putting up the spring decorations that she found in her mom's old box. So she put these pretty little flowers out here on the mantle. They kind of stand out against the yellow and green, but, you know, we made it work. We put this gaudy, awful pink tree out in her garden because the boys were like no you are not setting that pink tree up in this house so she put it out in the garden and you know what it's just gonna have to do and I'm telling you what Bella loves some cuddles on the couch she really really does but anyways guys I'm gonna have them go ahead and head off to work because there's not much to see here except oh my god Oh, does anybody else um, freak out over Sims? Like, I mean, these are pixels, Chris. So these are these are Sims. Why why are you such a freak? I, I don't know, but I'm telling you, he is so fine. Um, mm. All right, yeah. Let me let me get them off to work so I can control myself. And oh my God, Bella, hold up! I know you are not about to pop a squat right here. Oh, no, 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 don't you do it. Okay, we're going to get her outside, get them off to work, and yeah, I will see y'all probably at a restaurant because she is meeting Bradley after work, so we'll catch up with Clara and Bradley shortly. All right, so this is Clara's ex-boyfriend, Bradley McNeil. They look kind of like brother and sister, honestly, but he's very handsome, and they honestly suit each other so well. They look like the OTP, but we're going to go ahead and have them request this table before anybody else gets it. And I don't want to be at this restaurant all night long, so let's stop chatting. Let's bring this inside. But yeah, he has been texting her. I mentioned in the last part, <sighs> he just really wants to be a mature adult for one so she's going to give him the benefit of the doubt because she agrees with him they have been in each other's lives for a very very long time they've been high school sweethearts they dated throughout college 
you know, they really thought that they were going to get married one day, and it didn't work out, but there's no reason that they can't talk about it and, you know, just put it in the past. So, she decided, yeah, she would meet him, and let's let's have a seat, ma'am, and then order for table. Let's go ahead and get all this out of the way. I honestly hate restaurants in the sim. Sometimes it works out, and they're in and out real quick, but most times it's just a big flop. Let's get her a root beer float, him an EAPA. And then, what can we get them? Trouts? Okay, yeah, we'll get him the chef's choice. Oh, there we go. And then we'll get her some, uh, da -da -da, some salmon. And voila. Alright, so let's just have a deep conversation with him. And she's just thanking him for, you know, being so kind to her as far as, you know, not being bitter about their breakup and you know she apologizes for not being there for him like she ought to and he apologizes for you know being selfish and realizing that you know she was in a very hard you know tight space with her mom and he wasn't there for her and he's really sorry and you know what honestly I know I made him kind of sound like a prick in the last park and honestly he really was a jerk to her he treated her terribly you know he wasn't there for her at all he wasn't supportive of her dreams or anything like that but you know they have just grown apart they have changed so much in the years that it just it didn't work out for them it really didn't but look it says promoted to regional manager carter has been promoted to regional manager he will now make an additional 18 per hour for a grand total of 53 per hour awesome okay yeah cool but yeah anyways back to bradley and clara <sighs> he he really was a jerk but like i said they they just kind of grew apart and wanted two different things in life and I think mostly what he was doing was just really pushing her away to make the break easier. And I think that we are all guilty of doing that or having that done to us. And it's not it's not a good thing. You should always just be honest. But sometimes we're just scared of hurting the person. And, you know, he does care about Claire. And I think that's the main reason why he, you know, has asked her to come eat with him and just talk about it and just like you know, build a bridge and, you know, mend it and just, it doesn't mean that they're going to be besties and, like, talk and hang out all the time, but they can be mature adults and, you know, see each other and talk and there be no bitter feelings. And she agrees. She thinks that they should definitely take, you know, the relationship and, you know, all the good times and the bad times and, you know, cherish them and then use it towards the future because they've learned what they want and what they don't want in a relationship. And, you know, they're not going to regret the time that they had together. And I'm just so proud of them. All right, so look at Miss Thing strutting and look pretty woman walking down the street. She looks so confident and happy. I'm just so proud of her. But anyways, they had a successful dinner. They taught like mature adults. They hugged goodbye, and she is on her way, feeling like, you know, she's just ready to take on the world. And ah, look at her. Just look at her. It looks like Bella has greeted her outside. Um, oh my gosh, Wyatt's already asleep and it's only, it's already 8 o'clock. He must have had a hard day at work because he did get promoted as well. So he is now an ace engineer. So he's moving on up. Super proud of him. He must have worked really hard today, like I said. And it looks like Carter is cooling off in the bath. He's feeling a bit flirty. Um, something's crazy. He's going down at the ruins. Want to check it out. Uh, as fun as that sounds, no, it's getting a little bit late. Um, partying days are a little bit over and behind me, but we will see Sophia uh, tomorrow. It is love day. I want to have her uh, take a bath real quick. So I guess we're going to take a bath in his bath. Um, don't get in the bed yet. Wait, yeah, okay. And then, let's see, does he, he does have work tomorrow too. Maybe he'll take the day off. Uh, I, I'm pretty sure, I, actually Sophia, she may work tomorrow too. So it may be something they'll have to do after work. Um, I'm not really sure, you know, love day is not like a big to do. You know, it's kind of like Valentine's Day. So I guess that can be something they do, you know, after work. He can, you know, go over there and bring her some flowers. Um, maybe get Clara to, I don't know, do we want them to come over here or do we want to go visit her? I don't know, but I think we're going to definitely have Claire tomorrow since she is off work. Have her make some flowers so he can take to Sophia. All right, y'all, it is a love day and Clara is working on 12 dozen roses for Carter. Carter has asked her, to, <laughs> that was cute, her little sneeze, but he asked her to help him, you know, 
get an arrangement ready he is going to go and surprise Sophia with some flowers and he wants to go spend time with her and Dalton and he found it very important you know they could go on a romantic dinner and a little romantic getaway for love day but because her son means so much to her he wants to include Dalton and he wants to show her show her that he can be a good father figure to Dalton so let's check these out and see if they will do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Oh, there is twelve. I was curious to see if there was really going to be twelve. But let's add a vase. Um, we can do. Hmm. Let's see. A white gold vase, a spring vase, a ruby vase. Let's do a white gold vase and see what that looks like. Ah, uh, no, I'm not feeling that actually. That's not what I thought it was going to look like. Um, let's just do a black vase. We'll do red and black. Okay, yeah, that's romantic. That's nice. And she'll just leave that sitting right there for Carter when he gets home. She's already done all of her collectibles. Um, let's see, how, how are the bees feeling? They're irritated. Uh, she tried to bond with them earlier and ended up getting a little... A little stung but what we're gonna do now is probably have her come in here and do a quick little workout she already went on a morning jog this morning with Bella but she is just ready to reshape her life and she wants to get back in shape she did gain a little bit of weight when she was taking care of her mom and she was just so stressed out and a lot of bacon and a lot of gourmet cooking you know for her and her mom and for Carter just to help her cope with the pain of knowing that she was losing her mom. So she really just wants to get back in shape. And it's not about, you know, her looking like, you know, a Victoria's Secret model or anything like that. She looks great and she she just wants to feel better. You know, there's nothing wrong with being healthy and being, you know, strong. And that's what she wants to do. She's just all about revamping herself and a fresh start. So we're going to have her just continue her little workout here. And shortly, I believe Carter will be coming home. And then we will head over to Sophia's house to catch up with them for a love day. All right, so Carter has returned from work today, and he is visiting his girlfriend. We're about to meet Sophia in Dalton. She lives here with her parents, and looks like they have the house all decorated for Love Day, which is really cute. He has already got the dozen roses in his inventory, and he is snuggling up to Dalton, and we're going to go and knock on the door now. Well, do we have to knock on the door? Guess not. All right, so anyways, well, I guess we can bring him on in because it looks like it's about to start raining but we want to, okay, so he has been in the romantic spirit. We want to give flowers and go on a date. Oh, well, I didn't really want to go on a date. I wanted to, you know, stay here and visit visit the family. So this is um, her dad. I thought they had already met, but let's have him introduce himself to her, her dad. And her mom's around here somewhere. But this is his girlfriend, Sophia Braswell. She is so freaking cute. Oh my god, sing about Love Day? Oh my gosh, yes. Can we do that? Okay, stop chatting with her dad. We're not trying to romance him. Um, but, yeah, let's sing, with, let's sing about Love Day. I haven't experienced Love Day. Share the Love Day spirit. Okay, she does not look happy. What was that about? We need to give her some flowers. We're sharing the Love Day spirit, it looks like. And we're singing right now. Oh my god, kiss under the mistletoe. Make out in closet. Give romantic gift. Let's give her the red dozen roses. Oh, it looks like the dad's joining in with the singing too. That's really cute. And it, Dalton looks like he's dancing along to the music. But let's give her the gift. I want to see how this is. I have yet to even give a gift since this you know, option became available in The Sims. So let's see. I'm very excited. I'm a little behind here, I know. But... Let's see if she likes it. Aww. <laughs> that is so freaking cute. He's like, wow, thank you so much, babe. I love it. Let's give her a little embrace. Kiss under the mistletoe. I didn't know there was such thing as a love day mistletoe, but let's go ahead and do that. Looks like Dalton's a little bit jealous. He's not getting any kind of loving, so let's go over here and play with this little booger, and we definitely need to introduce ourselves to her mom. Um, I don't think that we have done that yet as well. 
maybe not give her a flirty introduction, but let's give her a friendly introduction. But yeah, a little bit about Sophia and Carter. I think I had mentioned it or touched briefly on it in the first part that they have known each other pretty much their whole lives. They've always like grew up, you know, in school together, but they just recently connected and started dating. Um, Sophia has always been a little bit standoffish when it comes to relationships because she did have, you know, a son at a young age and it was outside of wedlock and she was, you know, not in the serious relationship with the father. The father wanted absolutely nothing to do with the baby or Sophia. So she's had her guard up, but, you know, Carter came in, wooed her off her feet. He's just genuinely a good guy and she can see that and he absolutely loves Dalton so I think things are going well between them I hope they continue to go well uh, he's not happy why are you not happy it's love day you should be happy oh he is being a little brat can we like lecture him uh, I don't think she would like that very much but let's maybe express our love to him after we play with him a little bit maybe he just needed a little bit of attention is all but um, oh my gosh, why is he wanting to like, okay, I understand it's love day and you're trying to be all flirty and stuff, but let's not, it, it kind of just freaks me out that he even has the option to kiss her mother's hands. Um, I think Sophia's hungry. Maybe we should go, well, we can't. I don't have the always welcome trade. I was going to say, maybe we should go cook her dinner, but I don't have that option. And also, we're not going to go on a date. Um, we're just, we're not doing it. I figured we would have a family day and have him just come over um, and not do all the dating and whatnot so he needs to use the restroom though I didn't even know they had this downstairs area this is really cute yeah and then I think upstairs her and Dalton actually share a room but he actually got Carter a slide but Sophia told her just to save it um, and put it at his house when they come over to visit you know because her mom and dad was planning on getting him like a little a little place area outside to play with so he decided you know that's that's a good idea we'll just we'll keep it there for him later i didn't know he had to go outside i thought that was somewhere downstairs that he could whatever whatever i hope sophia you're cooking enough grilled cheeses for everybody but you know i'm probably not but yeah guys i think i'm probably going to go ahead and just wrap this part up here and give him a little bit of privacy um because i don't want this to be super duper long but i think we had a very successful love day he got to see his woman he got to love on her he got to give her a gift she very much appreciated as far as claire and wyatt i think claire was planning on you know cooking dinner for wyatt you know nothing romantic but because they don't really have anybody to celebrate love day with and carter wasn't going to be around Around. she went ahead and oh she did cook a meal for everybody cool let's go ahead and grab a serving what is this meatless monte cristo oh we got a chef on our hands and boy you better wipe her up anyways guys yeah i'm gonna go ahead and wrap this part up and let them enjoy their meal i hope you guys enjoyed this part if you did be sure to give it a big thumbs up comment all your suggestions all of that down below and with that being said i will talk to y'all later I'll be right here I swear that I'll stay here with